Now here at the seven pin trailer connector, you've got one, kind of like at one o'clock, just has a plus sign right there. So I've got one end of my meter on that pin right there. The other end of the meter is hooked up to a jumper directly to the battery negative. And we've got new voltage on that wire. All right, so let's see what's going on in here. Looks like I gotta pop this bracket off of here. So we've got a wire here, this red one. Looks like it drops back in this body harness down here. Let's see if we've got voltage here. We've got no voltage at that stud. So let's see if this red wire is in fact the wire that goes back to the seven pin plug. This is a 10 mil. Take that long jumper lead, just clip it on that guy. So there's the jumper wire. Jump wire goes into the meter, the other lead of the meter. It's right at that pin right there. So we know that wire that's up there at the fuse block is the wire that comes here. Just gonna pull this jumper back off. So what makes this thing have power right here? Well, first thing I see is this thing, it just looks totally out of place. Just looks like a plastic dummy fuse. So I'm gonna turn my meter back to ohms. And I'm gonna touch the terminals where that dummy fuse went in. Just touching this top one right here. It has continuity. It almost looks like you're supposed to take this and replace it with a real fuse like one of these. Let's check the owner's manual. Trailer wiring harness, 4-78. The seven wire harness contains the following trailer circuits. They do have a battery feed. The only thing I see in here for anything about a trailer battery feed is this mention of a trailer battery feed fuse. Apparently this should have some kind of a harness that comes with a trailer battery feed fuse which should be installed by your dealer or qualified service center. I mean, that's it, there's no other mention of, you know, this trailer feed. Let's try this. Get our lead off of there. Put this guy back on. Take a spare 30, plug him in there. So we'll just turn this guy back to volts. Put the black lead of the meter on the negative battery. Put the red lead of the meter right on the stud. We've got juice now. We can even pull this guy back out. No power. But Let's just make sure we got power back there at the seven pin. So I'll just unhook the meter. Take Mr. Jumper and go back to the negative battery. So once again, Mr. Jumper on the negative battery. Positive is still up in that top right pin. Sitting at battery voltage. So let's start the truck up. Cool. So this all began when I was looking for a source of battery power uh, for an upcoming project. And I pulled this off and I noticed that this stud didn't have power. And again, I just noticed that it went down into like this body harness right here, down here. And that's what led me to, you know, go in the owner's manual. 
I don't need a qualified dealer to pull this out and put that in. You know what I'm saying? The other thing about this, well, I guess you're going to see it. You don't need to take all this out just to do that. I know for the project that I'm doing, I've got a fused stud that I can get power from. See, look, you could probably actually just sneak that thing out without even taking this off, you know what I mean? Just take that out, pop that in, you'll be able to charge an auxiliary battery. Pretty cool. So there you have it. That's how you can get your uh, charge lead powered up back there at the seven pin connector. Now this should be the same for Tahoe's from 2003 to 2006, but don't quote me on that. What a bunch of shit. Why couldn't they just say in the owner's manual, hey, take the dummy fuse out, put a real fuse in, and call it a day? Why? Why, GM? Well, GM is known for doing stupid shit like that. In my 2003 Trailblazer, they left the wire disconnected, but had the fuse installed. In my 2004 Tahoe, they have the wire connected, but no fuse. I mean, can't they just do shit the same across all platforms? I mean, fuck, now I'm curious what's going on with my 2500 pickup. Oh, it's only got a four pin connector. So at the shop, what I had done was I pretty much did everything that you saw today. I verified that that wire does go back to the seven pin. I tested for voltage. I saw the dummy fuse. I did everything. So I knew without doubt that that's, that's the wire. That's what it does. We're good. So one of these PG motherfuckers came out. Um, that means professional guesser, just so you know, and said that, no, no, you're wrong. That wire only gets power during reverse. And this guy was serious. He said, no, on this seven pin connector, this wire right here is designed to charge an auxiliary battery, like in a trailer, maybe if you had a winch or something, or a camper and you had a battery in it, whatever. Despite me having my test equipment out, doing the test and verifying how the circuit works, uh, this guy who doesn't know the first thing about testing anything says to me, no, that wire only gets power in reverse. Did you know that? It's not how it works. And I'm just like, I'm, 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 I'm speechless because I cannot believe that somebody's just that fucking stupid. You guys saw what we just did. Reverse has nothing to do with none of what we were doing today. You know what I mean? If you guys noticed on that cover, it has a dedicated pin for backup lights. I just can't believe that not only is there that many professional guessers out there, but also that people go to these guys for advice, man. What the fuck? Now, from my limited understanding about these here electronics, or er, 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 auxiliary batteries, most of the time they're only going to get like a 9 or 10 amp charge, you know, from the alternator when the truck's running. For me, I would just use a 30 amp fuse to protect that circuit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the whole purpose of finding this uh, source of constant 12 volt power is going to play into a, a modification I have coming up on this truck. So if you want to see that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. In fact, bitch slap that motherfucker like you bitch slap a used car salesman. You know what I'm saying? Well, thanks for checking out the video. I hope it helped you out. See ya. Are you driving the Tahoe, man? Yeah, Tahoe. Yeah? Oh, why? Why? You can't even reach the pedals, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, fuck. You don't need the heater on today, man. It's nice outside. Oh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> wow. This is so cute. Oh, no. What? So many fucking bums. A what, man? Well, I said, uh, don't go in and bam, down. You sound like a used car salesman that doesn't know what he's talking about. Next, you're going to tell me that that oh, red wire only comes on in oh, reverse. Geez. Sometimes people just need to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying?